As many of you know, I was the victim of a hate crime. It was not a joke, nor was it called for. I decided to speak out for the first time publicly because I never want others who have experienced a hate crime to feel alone. I want other victims to speak out as well. Being a victim of a hate crime definitely scars you for life. It takes away your human rights, and for me, it felt like I lost my manhood. How would you feel if you woke up to use the bathroom and looked in the mirror and saw that writing on you? How would you feel if you were physically abused with a sex toy? How would you feel if you were surrounded by guns all night, also being the only black man in the room with races? How much more do I have to express for law enforcement to do anything about, do anything about it? <laughs> this was important in 2020. This is really what happens in America today and it's sickening. Yep. This is where I'm begging for everyone's support. Whether you know me or not, I'm begging to raise awareness of the hate in our community and worldwide. I need any type of help against the suspects and law enforcement that refuse to do their job. Yeah. I also wanted to share the impact they had on me recently. Y'all find me saying something personal? Sure. Oh, speak your piece, brother. Speak your piece, brother. On February 28th, I had a very severe suicide attempt. I was in the ICU for days, not having the strength to even get up and walk. It was it was not worth it at all, and it never is. Never let the actions of someone else determine whether you want to live or not. Every single person listening to this right now has a future, and I hate to see anybody lost due to suicide. Please continue to send support and help me seek justice. We Thank stand you. with you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.